Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this demonstration, we would analyze the wind flow over a truss bridge. There is a truss bridge, we need to find out the velocity variations across the bridge. The wind velocity is 15 km per hour. This is the part 2 of the tutorial. To know about geometry creation and meshing please watch part 1 of the tutorial. Before we start the video it's a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications of the new uploads. Open the Solver Setup program. Select the Double Precision option and click on Start. Click on Report Quality to check the quality of the mesh. Click on check, make sure that the minimum volume should not be negative. If it's negative then you need to remesh the geometry again. Click on the model, select viscous model. Select the K-Epsilon turbulence model for this analysis. Click on OK. We will use the default air as the fluid material for this analysis. Check the material in the cell zone. Click on OK. Select a boundary condition, click on inlet to assign the boundary conditions at the inlet. Select Velocity Inlet Conditions at the Inlet Boundary. Click on Edit, change the unit of the velocity to kilometer per hour. Go to User Defined tab, select Units. Select Velocity in the quantities and kilometers per hour in the units. Then close the unit's window. Now put the inlet velocity as kilometers per hour. Keep the default turbulence specification setup. If you don't have the data of turbulent kinetic energy or turbulent viscosity ratio, click on OK. Keep the default pressure outlet boundary condition at the outlet. In the solution methods, select the coupled pressure velocity coupling scheme with green gauss node based as the gradient. Choose the second order for turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation rate for a better result accuracy. Click on monitors, select residuals, decrease residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 for a better result. Click on Initialization, select the Hybrid Initialization, click on Initialize. After initialization is complete, go to File menu, select Data File Quantities. Select Cell Reynolds number as the additional data file quantities.
Click on Run Calculation. Enter the number of iterations and click on Calculate. Calculation is complete. Now close the setup and proceed to CFD post to check the result output. Open the CFD post processing. Insert a plane as the location. Take the YZ plane as the reference. Insert a new contour. Select the location as the plane 1 and variable as the velocity to observe the velocity contour on the plane. Click on Apply. Similarly check the cell Reynolds number contour. You can also change the default legend view precision settings. Similarly check the other parameters too. The turbulent kinetic energy has not been captured properly, so more mesh refinement required for this analysis. To save the contour animation, click on the animation icon, select quick animation. Select the plane. Select the save location.
Click on the play button to start recording the animation. This the resulting animation video. With this let's conclude this demonstration. To know about the geometry and meshing please watch the part 1 of the tutorial, link given in the description. Please like this video, comment below for any suggestion. Subscribe to our channel if you want more ANSI's tutorial videos. Stay healthy. Thank you.